Hello everybody, my Ryan here. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> a couple of days ago I showed you a uh, no not I showed you a I showed you <laughs> papers that I got at Michael's. The uh pool rific theme. These two. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Oh well, whatever. Um I uh I made a pocket letter with that. I'm in a swap and uh, I'm working ahead a little bit because I have a lot of things going on and uh, I just wanted to get it finished. So I wanted to show you what I made and uh, I combined the papers from both paper pads. So some have are, some are single sided and some are double sided. So here I just <clears throat> cut, used a cutout from uh, this sheet of papers, adorable, right? And I glued that on because I always like to put some sort of hello thingy on the first pocket. And what's better than hello summer, right? And on the second page, I used my uh, flamingo die and uh, put a flamingo on there. This tape I had in my stash and I liked the colors, so I used it. And then for this pocket, I used uh, these dies, the ice cream ones, and stamped and cut and did. <laughs> and uh, I think it turned out kind of cute. And um, it has that stay cool stamp in there too. So I added that uh, on a circle with uh, scalloped edges and I added some uh, liquid pearls on there. And then in the middle row, I used uh, the bikini dies and stamps. And this one has two parts. So you really have to put this Oh, there. This part. Oop. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. No falling on the floor, please. Um, you have to put this die part on the, like in the middle of the part that you stamped. So it cuts that out. It's it's cute. It's a little bit fussy, fussy to uh, get it on there, right? Because I don't have a magnetic plate for my cuddle bug, but I managed to get it done. So I did that on both the left and the right pocket, just in a different color. And here I used blue ink. And uh, you can see that on because these pants have stripes, these bikini uh, pants have stripes, bikini bottom whatever you like to call it and I used yellow ink for this and then <clears throat> I had these uh, sunglasses I got them from my daughter I think I have more if I can find it yeah um, she uh, she had that on her birthday cake last year and that means that I had it in my stash for a long time because her birthday is next uh, week, Saturday the 12th. And she gave them to me. So she said, I think you can use these, Mom. And I finally did. I had to uh, cut this out, this thingy, because it was put in her cake. And uh, that was a little hard, so hubby helped with that. And then I glued them on the middle pocket, which of course is a shaker pocket again. I'll open it up because then you can see it a little better. I put uh, green, blue and kind of iridescent white uh, sequins in there and some iridescent glitter. And then on the bottom row, I did the ice cream again different this time different colors and another flamingo and the sunny state of mind and I like how it turned out oh on this one I used um, the ice cream washi as a gold foil shimmer on it and on the sides 
I use the blue uh, washi and I made a very tiny paper tassel. They're so cute to do. Cute to do. They're fun to make. <laughs> oh boy. I can't even talk. It's Sunday. And, uh... Oh, it's coming off. No, I don't. Okay, well. I glued it on with uh, uh, diamond glaze. I don't think that worked right. Maybe I'll just use some hot glue and that'll work better. Or just tape. Maybe I'll just put tape underneath. Let's see. Let's get this fixed. This, uh, scissors. Probably shine through the glass part, but we'll see. This is probably better than the hot glue or diamond glaze. Usually it just comes off again, and <clears throat> that's not so nice. Oh, my nails are too short. I don't even know if this will stick. It probably will. Oh, that is not in the middle. I oh, dang, it shines through the glasses. Oh, well. There. That is better. Okay, you can see it a little bit, but I don't want to put hot glue underneath and then it coming off again. That's no uh no fun. So, okay, that was the pocket letter. And of course, in the back I put some goodies. I cut out some more uh, flamingos and I have some uh, summer ephemera that I cut out with my Cricut and some bicycles, some pineapples and some more uh, cutouts and a little hello summer tag in here um, flamingos in a darker shade of pink and some washi in this one and this here, the envelope, I made it with different paper but it kind of fits because it has um, flamingos on there and I used this uh, cute little hello stamp on there that I got at Michael's. It was kind of cool, doesn't it? This envelope is adorable and I wanted to show... Oh, shoot, I left it. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, this envelope... <coughs> Isn't it adorable with that edge like that? I made that using this die that came from China on the slow boat. And uh, I know there's a lot of you that still do holes from um, that particular website where you can get these cheap, but I've heard it's pretty risky because YouTube can shut your channel down, so I'm not going to mention anything, but we all know what I'm talking about, right? So I used this die for this envelope and it fits in the pocket letter, so I am excited because I love it. And uh, let's see if I can find some more. And as you can see, I have my dies here in a binder. And my next video, I will show you how I store my dies. There's a lot of different ways, of course, to store your dies, but I found a way that works perfect for me. And I'll show you that later. So, this was the summer pocket letter that I made for a swap. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today, I think. I'm gonna go and upload this video and then I'm gonna sit outside because it's nice actually a little muggy out there so uh, finally the weather is getting better and can't believe that three weeks ago we had an ice storm here anyway that was the pocket ladder and enough chit chat thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day bye <laughs>